Baby, y'all want to know something that I've realized as of late? Let me tell you what I have noticed. In the past about maybe six months, right? I've noticed that when I go out, men don't approach me. What? Men don't approach me. And when I mean go out, I mean if I'm at the grocery store, going out for a walk, getting dressed up and going somewhere, it doesn't matter. Men just have not been approaching me whatsoever. Say, hold up, wait a minute, something ain't right. And at first, when I noticed it, I was like, okay, this is different because I'm just used to men coming up to me, right? I had to realize, okay. When I'm praying and I'm asking God for protection in all areas of my life, I totally feel like my dating life has his protection over as well. How about new? Apparently this woman's delusion is so great that she's expecting a man to just drop out of the sky. God this, God that, God, God, God. Fellas, be careful when a woman constantly talks about God. Oh, and by the way, doesn't this woman look strangely familiar? Haven't we seen her make another video about breaking up with her boyfriend? <laughs> What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell. That'll let you know every time I upload content, you know what we're gonna do. Yep. Roll that clip. Right, when we know that a lot of these men just wanna come in your life and waste your time. And if you're praying for a husband, if you're praying for your spouse, if you're praying for companionship, you have to realize that God is probably making you invisible to like 99% of these men. You are so dumb. You are really dumb. For real. He doesn't want these men to step to you because he already knows what it is before you even know. So now when I go out, I don't even expect men to come up to me. For real, for real. Like, I really just go out and I just be going out for a good time, of course. Yeah, I, I, I don't expect it anymore because I totally feel God's covering over my life in that area to really shield me from all the BS, okay? Because it's so much of that out there. So from one woman of God to another, if you're feeling discouraged or you don't know what's going on, that's probably what's going on, sis. God is saving you for your husband and making you invisible to all these men who they don't want nothing from you. They just want to waste your time. I'm here to tell you right now, we don't care. Let me tell you, right, let me tell you <laughs> we don't care. Jerry. See, women live in a state of delusion where they can think men not approaching them is God's will. Yep. So in this clip that we just watched, we see the delusion firsthand. Women walk around in a constant state of delusion when in reality, a woman needs to be approachable for a man to approach her. Remember when I said this woman looks familiar? Let's roll that clown. Hey you guys, so I recently broke up with my boyfriend and I didn't think that I was gonna share this experience or this story just because it's not that big of a deal and it's kind of private too, but I decided to share it because I felt like the girls really needed to hear about this. Um, so there are two major points I'm gonna make and I'm gonna try to keep this very short. So number one, the way that God has carried me throughout this breakup is really nothing short of amazing and unbelievable. Usually after a breakup, I'm a mess. Like I've been known to cry in the club over a breakup. Like I'm telling you, days, weeks, you know. And the fact that that has not been my experience this time is only because of God. And I've been really trying to get back to my relationship with him. first and foremost, so that he is leading my relationships from now on. Number two is, I feel like a lot of times when 
we all see these breakup stories especially coming from the woman's perspective it's always like this horror story like you know the stuff that she's been through and what he put her through and all the stuff that she put up with and we all look at her like girl why was you in that relationship like why did you stay but when i tell you guys that that's not my experience at all like it just wasn't my ex was a great guy like even after we broke up still sending me flowers to my apartment still sending me flowers to my apartment still sending me flowers to my apartment this is the same woman who was talking about a few videos ago that her breakup was ordained by God. Still sending me flowers to my apartment. And this is a woman that has God in just about everything, every video. And you got to be careful about that because remember, guys, there is more ladies in church than men. And that in and of itself is problematic i've noticed that when i go out men don't approach me men don't approach me men don't approach me i just watched over a hour hour and a half of a live a singles live you know where the men and women get together to see if anybody makes a love connection and i am watching the women in the comment section repeat the same thing they all are saying a lot, not all, that they are never approached by men. Men don't approach me. Don't matter how they dress, where they go. These women lived in different cities, different ages, different races, different careers, different body types, different looks. Everything is different, but they share the same story. Men are not approaching me. Men don't approach me. I have a question for the ladies. Ladies, pay attention. Are y'all approachable? I want y'all to stop and think about something. That in today's world, the men not only have to worry about the rejection of you saying no, they've always been afraid of rejection, but they have been brave enough to push through that fear because they want women, right? But nowadays, they have to be extra careful because they could be labeled as a stalker, thirsty, sassy. They could be labeled as somebody who's harassing me. These men are not only afraid of rejection, but now they are afraid of charges, baby, because it's hard to date out here. Men are crazy. Women are crazy. I understand why everybody got their guard up. But ladies, I ask you again, are you approachable? Do you look like a woman that this man should want to get to know? Are you automatically judging a book by their cover? Are you smiling? And oh, I know y'all hate when men tell y'all that. Do you know how to spark up a conversation but leave space for him to lead? Do y'all know how to do that? Do you smile? And I know women hate this, but it's true. Do you smile? Do you make eye contact with the man? Do you purposely put yourselves in positions where men can approach you? When you're in the store and you see an attractive guy, are you asking him for help for something on top of the shelf? Are you purposely dropping things so that an attractive man can grab it and give it back to you? Are you putting yourself in a position to be approached by a man? Or are you going out with groups of women? Are you purposely on your phone? Are you not being approachable, not giving off body language that allows men to approach you? And another thing, ladies, lose the RBF face. The RBF face. City women, y'all know what I'm talking about. Y'all need to smile more and frown less. Because that's a defense mechanism that deters men from actually wanting to talk to you. And then you'll end up like the woman in this video at the beginning thinking it's God's will, but in reality, ladies, it's your fault. Anyway, y'all, that's been it for today's video. Don't forget, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, tickle that notification bell.
that will let you know every time I upload content. And until the next video, like, share, and subscribe. Peace.